Okay, so another problem goes, a pressure gauge 6 meters above the bottom of the tank containing a liquid reads 90 kilopascal. Another gauge height 4 meter, which is located at a height of 4 meters, reads 103 kilopascal. Now determine the specific weight of the liquid. So, kanisha nga part sa tank, ang iyahang... Kaning a gauge, gauge 1 in this case, is located as, as uh, given the problem, gikan sa bottom, so we'll say money, money ang bottom na. Ang height niya is, na siya nga location is 6 meters from the bottom. Okay? And kaning gauge 2, which is, I'll say nga, da -da na ang gauge 2, is 4 meters. Now, of course, we know that somewhere the, di the distance between gauge 1 and gauge 2 will simply be mm, 2 meters. Okay? So, that will be the case. And therefore, we're looking for here, what are we looking for? A specific weight of the liquid. So, we're looking for, we're required for a specific weight, uh, gamma. We're looking for gamma. Simply, we know that gamma is just density times G. So, we're looking for G really. So we can see we use rho here instead of gamma. Uh, because rho for me is uh, most common to everybody. And like for gamma, which is specific only if we really use rho G always. But here, uh, allow me to use rho solution. So, how do we solve this? We simply note that as we go deeper, the pressure increases by rho gh. In that case, if we write here pressure that is read by gauge 1, P1, as we go deeper, it will increase by rho gh. Okay? And that is simply rho gh, and that will know what is being read by P2. Actually, rho is sim a gamma is simply rho g, and therefore, we could just convert this equation to be P1. Well, what is P1? 90 kilopascal, so 90,000. And all of these are gauge pressure. 90,000 plus rho g is gamma. So we write here gamma and a height. What is the h? h is not the 6 meters or the 4 meter, but h is simply, as we go deeper, so it's simply here. This point 0.1 perhaps is point 0.2. This pressure at this section is P1. As we go deeper, so now it increases by, what's the depth? 2 meters. So rho, rho g is gamma, gamma times 2 equal to P2. What is P2? P2 is known to be 103,000. That's kilo means 1,000. So therefore, gamma can be obtained. So in this case, gamma is simply equal to 6,000. 500, the unit of course is Newton per m cube or 6.5 kilonewton per cubic meter. Okay? Simple as that.